Welcome right. to everybody. Um, and we are joined here today by Joel Moore, who's the Chief Nursing Officer at one of the Genesis Health Systems locations in Davenport, Iowa. I am Amy Carr. I'm the Vice President of Recruiting here at Worldwide Health Staff. And we are thrilled to talk with you about why you should work at Genesis Health System. Um, Joel, I'll turn it over to you. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Welcome. I am Joel Moore, as Amy said. I'm the Chief Nursing Officer here. Um, I've been uh, in nursing practice for almost 25 years, and I am really excited to share with you a little bit about Genesis and our area and our culture and why I really think that you belong here. So looking forward to our uh, time together today. So, so let's, this is, are we going to kick oh, it off with a video, Joel? Is let's, that do we, let's do that. Genesis is a great place to work. I love the employees. I love the culture. I love working as a team. Seeing my coworkers brightens my day because they're always positive. Not only do I feel valued every day by my coworkers, my managers, um, administrative personnel, physicians, but it's a safe place to work. They're keeping up on the best practices, um, always staying one step ahead. Being a novice nurse is sometimes scary, but having the older nurses there, they can help guide you through and answer anything you need done, and you learn something every day. I knew I wanted to do um, babies, labor and delivery, and Genesis is one of the leading hospitals in the area um, that delivers babies. So that's the number one reason why I chose Genesis. What I like most about my job is the patient interaction. I like to spend a lot of the time in the patient's rooms and trying to learn about them and learn their story. I like learning new things every day. Um, I feel like I could advance in the position that I'm in. Um, there's always room for growth in the company. And no matter what background you come from, you know, the sky's the limit here. I feel as if I'm valued through Genesis because they provide a lot of opportunities. If you want to advance here at Genesis, you have your manager you can talk to, you have experienced nurses you can talk to, they'll point you in the right direction. Teamwork um, is one of the main reasons why I stay in the birth center. Um, the teamwork there is incredible. I uh, never feel alone. I don't come in every day just punching a clock, doing my job and leave. Um, they're like family to me. The employee culture here is definitely a lot of teamwork. What I learned is that no man is an island basically. So throughout the day we like to help each other. I'm on the pediatric unit and the teamwork's the best I've ever seen. All of us will do anything for one another. I like everything about my job. Every day is a different day. Every patient is so different. Um, I just like learning new things and it's never a dull day. I would recommend people to apply to Genesis um, because it's a great place to work. I would tell someone applying at Genesis, come on board, and I would tell them that there are people here to help you and that you will not be alone. Just be positive and go in with the best attitude and it will go out for the best I would tell someone applying at Genesis that they're making a great choice for their future and that they have a lot of opportunities ahead of them and they should definitely not wait. At Genesis, we're in this together. At Genesis, we're in this together. At Genesis, we're in this together. Wow, I always love watching that video. Uh, reminds me of what a great team we have uh, and a representation and uh, we are in this together. We have a, uh, <clears throat> our, our team here at Genesis, we say we're the dream team because we work so well together. So, so excited. Uh, thanks for putting in the chat where you're from. Um, really, we're connecting all over the world here today. So thank you. We'll have uh, lots of opportunity towards the end for some questions. So. Um, please put your questions in the chat as we move along and we'll get to those as well. I'm going to go through a few slides uh, with a lot of information. Uh, the re I'm not going to talk through every slide and the slide deck will be in the email that uh, Amy and her team will send out afterwards. So uh, don't feel like you have to uh, capture everything that we're saying today. This is a picture of uh, where you'd be working if you came here to Genesis and Davenport. 
Uh, this is our newest tower and it was completed in 2019. Um, we have uh, six medical surgical telemetry units that we'd love to have you be a part of. Uh, we also do um, intensive care unit and lots of other things that I'll touch on. So this is uh, the building that you would be uh, working in if you came here to Davenport. As uh, we did introductions at the beginning, I'm Joel Moore. I'm the Chief Nursing Officer. Uh, exciting. I have been with this company for eight years and I love every minute of it. Uh, a little fun fact about me, I was born in this hospital when uh, we were uh, a different affiliation uh, several years ago, lots of years ago. Um, so it's kind of fun to be uh, back where my roots are. Uh, this slide talks a lot about our mission and our vision and values. Uh, we do respect every, every person that is part of our company, um, part of our organization, and part of our team, as well as we are driven by high quality and safe care for our patients. My role in this, uh, in this is to ensure that I'm partnering with you to provide all the tools and resources you need to provide the best care as registered nurses and clinicians that work in a multidisciplinary um, healthcare environment here in Davenport. We are a pretty large organization uh, for our area. We have uh, five hospitals that are part of Genesis Health System. Uh, just a couple facts here that are on the screen for you, but uh, Davenport, we have uh, close to 2,000 uh, births every year, so we have a very busy OB unit. We do lots of surgeries here, and uh, both inpatient and outpatient. Um, we accept a lot of our, we do our, the largest component of our surgeries are um, GI surgeries, orthopedic surgeries, urology surgeries, um, and lots of those patients come in and then leave our building within uh, 24 to 36 hours. So it's very high uh, uh, churn with those patients. We do provide, we had 95,000 emergency room visits here at our facility. We provide the highest number of visits in the state of Iowa for our emergency rooms. So very high, fast paced environment. If you are a nurse that likes fast paced and high acuity patients, uh, and you have some experience in the emergency room, that is one of our uh, areas of greatest need. And um, it's a really amazing team. Allison, who is the manager down there is uh, from the workforce. And so she speaks the language of the nurse and jumps in. I was down in our emergency room yesterday when we had uh, 61 patients that we were um, triaging and figuring, working through the process of who was going to be admitted and who was gonna be discharged home. We are a national award-winning hospital here. We have high quality rankings. We strive to be in the top 10th decile or we want to be in the top 10th percentage of uh, the organizations within the nation. Um, quality and safety really are drivers of the care that we provide and the environment that we create um, with you. And we want uh, to invite you to be a part of that. Um, these are some of the awards that we won um, and we continue to uh, win. We have been uh, recognized as a top performer in our state as well as a top performer in the nation. A little bit about uh, who we are. So Genesis is in Davenport, Iowa, and we are part of a four, com four city community called the Quad Cities. So as you do some uh, internet searching for Davenport and looking at who we are and what we can offer, um, we are part of this large metropolitan region of about 400,000 people who live in the Quad Cities. Um, we're right on the Mississippi River, um, right on the west side of that. Um, we are easily accessible to Chicago, which is about two and a half hours away from us to the east, and Des Moines and St. Louis, Minneapolis, all of these large metropolitan areas that you can uh, come and go or Many of you might have family that lives in uh, the Chicago region or other areas. 
We do have an international airport here in the Quad Cities as well. Um, it's a quick 50 minute flight from here to Chicago. So um, it's a, a hub of, we always say you can get anywhere from here. Um, the large, the largest airlines do fly out of the Chicago region uh, and Minneapolis region. So um, no problems getting you connections to uh, go back home to visit or have family come to see you. Um, this is a slide, as I just mentioned, we are um, part of four cities. This is a view of our Mississippi River. So uh, it's, a, it's a large part of who we are as a Quad Cities. Genesis is the third largest employer in the Quad Cities. We do have a large tractor company. I don't know if you've heard of John Deere Tractor, but John Deere has its headquarters here. And uh, in the middle of the slide, we're uh, in the middle of the river, there is a kind of a little island. We have a government uh, run facility, the Rock Island Arsenal, that is also uh, the second largest employer. So uh, we are proud to be the third largest employer in the Quad Cities. We do strive to represent um, all people here in the Quad Cities. We have a very large Hispanic population. Um, we are a large, uh, we're starting to integrate a lot of, um, of people from your countries here as well, from the Philippines and from South southern uh, uh, region of Africa. We've, we have um, over 50 international nurses that work here at Davenport. Uh, the Quad Cities is a large, uh, integrated, um, vibrant, as this, as the slide says, and diverse community. So you would fit here. You belong here. We have lots of resources to support you and connect you with uh, other international um, uh, residents here in the Quad Cities. I just want to, as you're looking at opportunity, within uh, our area or within the uh, United States. This slide really shows you um, a comparison. It's comparison, comparison, comparing San Francisco uh, to Davenport. Uh, San Francisco could also be relatively uh, compared to Chicago or St. Louis or um, Denver, some of those other larger metropolitan regions. And I just point out, you know, transportation here is significantly almost 60% cheaper than it is um, out in that region. Um, for the cost of food, we are at least 50% cheaper than um, San Francisco, and we do provide very competitive uh, rates for our clinical staff. As you come to the Quad Cities um, and choose to work at Genesis and Davenport, um, this is a really great example. If you're coming with your family, you could easily find uh, an apartment as you start to find roots here for around $1,000 or $1,200 a month. If you were to uh, settle in one of those larger metropolitan regions, um, easily those would be four to $5,000. So that's a significant part of your pay that would be um, paid out to housing. Um, and I think that you would find something just as reasonably um, accommodating and a much lower cost here in Davenport. We are uh, a very busy uh, summer place to live, uh, fall, summer. This is a view of we have a top ranked uh, minor league ballpark, uh, the Quad City Bandits. So you and your family could go see a baseball game um, or as you see in the background there, it has uh, some amusement park rides in it as well. Um, lots of great activities for you and your family to be involved in and, and with your coworkers as well. We have a large event center called the Tax Slayer event. Um, very popular singers and performers come to our region often uh, to provide uh, entertainment for us. We'll talk a little bit about benefits, but I, I want you to know that we do have seven colleges um, and universities here in the Quad Cities. We want you to go back and continue your education journey and um, become uh, really rooted in our area and, and be uh, significantly uh, influenced by the um, educational tracks that we can uh, put you on. Uh, a, a little fun fact here, we do have 
we are an, a region that does do a lot of bicycling. So um, we have a lot of trails. We have one trail that runs all the way around the Quad Cities. Um, it's about an 18 mile bicycle trail that you can uh, take your kids on to bicycle or exercise. Uh, we have lots of trails for running and um, outdoor activities as well. So I'm gonna ask Amy to uh, join me now. That's a little bit about our region. And Amy, you know, I open it up for you to ask me a few more additional questions, and then we'll watch the chat to see if uh, any of our future workforce has questions here as well. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Joel. I feel like I might have to pack up and move to Iowa. Yeah, you should. Um, that's, it's so lovely. Um, so if you are on, um, have joined us today and you have questions, please make sure to put your questions on the chat or in the Q&A section because we're happy to answer those. Um, if you would like to talk directly to a recruiter, um, we have recruiters that are waiting right now through live chat. So please feel free to reach out to those recruiters as well. Um, I saw some people here that have already been hired by Genesis Help, and congratulations to you for making a great decision and having a good employer. Um, if you have friends that you would like to refer to come work with you, you can earn $250 when the petition is filed. So here's the link to go on and, and sign up your friends so they can come along on your journey with you. And if you have not yet applied and would be interested in working for Genesis, we have interviews tomorrow um, for Genesis. And um, you are welcome to go online and apply on the healthstaff.org website. Um, we have recruiters that would absolutely love to love to help you. Um, OK, so Joel, you, you said lots of really great things about Genesis and, and Davenport particularly. Um, you mentioned that there's you have about 50 international nurses that are already working there. Um, I know that y'all sometimes do some fun events. Yeah. Can you talk about the community of the nurses that you've already built there? Yeah, our uh, community of international nurses um, are well connected with each other. Um, we have several international nurses. I think about Elizabeth, who is on our neuro oncology unit. She ensures that the international nurses are connected through um, chat with each other, as well as I know that we have them, um, they're supporting each other th with uh, childcare. Um, uh, a, a few months ago, um, we coordinated an event uh, that I participated in and our leaders participated in. Um, we all went out to uh, an entertainment center and went bowling together. So we spent the afternoon um, talking and getting to know each other and everyone brought their kids and it was uh, a really fun afternoon of eating together and bowling and having fun. And we will have more of those events uh, together, but we just ensure that everyone feels connected. Okay, awesome. Um, can you talk about like, the, you know, when, when you're moving, moving your whole life to a new place, new country, um, some of the things that you want to consider are, you know, is it safe? And if I have a spouse or a family member, like, are there places that they could find work? Yeah, as I had shared, you know, we are one of the third largest employers. Um, if your um, spouse or significant other or family members are coming and they want to work in education or engineering, um, or if they want a um, entry level position, um, or even positions here within our own organization, we have successfully helped uh, many of our international nurses um, find employment for their children and their spouses and ensured that um, I'm sure we'll get to education too, but we made sure that the, um, the kids that are coming over are enrolled in the right schools or universities as well. So lots of opportunity here. Awesome. Yeah. So let's like how, how accessible are schools? If you, if you're bringing little kids that need to go to school, how accessible are those? It's very accessible. We, we like uh, many of you in your country, home countries, um, we have elementary schools um, or entry level. Those are really within uh, a couple, two to five mile radius of every in every neighborhood. Um, and then our larger junior high and high schools um, are more metropolitan uh, place. So very easily accessible. Um, and we will partner with you to ensure that you are in the right neighborhood uh, so that you can have easy access to the schools for your kids as well. 
And I think just to note, um, most of our schools here in the U.S., well, most students go to public schools, which are free. That's right. And um, there are certainly are private schools. Um, I think it is it is less common, but certainly it's possible to send your kids to a private school. But I would say that most most folks do send their kids to public school. Um, and there certainly are someone asked a question about like, are there um, programs for children with special needs? Yes. Yeah. Yes. A requirement in the U.S. that all children, no matter what they you know what what their needs may be, are able to be served by the public school system. So there absolutely is, you know, that you know, that would be available. Um, what about career paths? Like if you, you know, in, in career development. Yeah, I strive. I'm a learner. I am a, a student myself right now. I'm going uh, back to the University of Iowa through an online program and working on my doctorate. Since I've been at Genesis, I've obtained my bachelor's, my master's, and my doctorate with financial support from Genesis. We have a large endowment through our foundation. I want you to continue to be on the journey of learning. So as the nursing leader, I will encourage you and support you. Um, we have lots of scholarship opportunities for you to um, go back to school and feel supported, as well as certifications. We have uh, scholarships for that as well. I'll tell you that when I went back to school for my bachelor's and master's, um, I walked away with uh, zero loans. So um, we will support you and we really want you to continue to grow on your journey of becoming a professional nurse. Awesome. Um, I've seen a couple of questions come through about requirements to interview. And so uh, right now, Genesis Health is hiring folks that are RNs, US RNs, that have passed the NCLEX and do currently have bedside experience. So that's that's important. You do have to be working in bedside. Um, currently, the interviews are for uh, med surge, there's, and there's several different departments in med surge, uh, and also um, the emergency department. Those are where the interviews are. I've seen some, some folks with questions about PICU and PEDS, but that's not where the needs are right now. So, um, so but you, it does require a current bedside experience. So that's, that's important. Um, lots of questions about that. Um, yeah. Amy, just to, you know, the PEDS, we do not have a pediatric intensive care unit here, but, you know, we would encourage you if you are a pediatric nurse and you're interested in being a part of our workforce, um, PEDS is not where we have an interest, but we do have other opportunities for you. And um, down the road, um, if there was opportunities for you to transfer into our pediatric or our neonatal intensive care, um, we would we would welcome that, but I would encourage you to be part of our medical surgical um, arena for now or units, and then um, a year down the road after you've been here and there's opportunities, we support uh, inter transfers within our facilities. So, just because we don't have that space now doesn't mean that down the road uh, we wouldn't have openings. Um, I would just say jump in uh, where we need the support now, and we'll help to ensure that you get to where you want to be. Awesome. Um, and then, you know, while while you're working at Genesis, are there bonuses if you work extra shifts or yeah. differentials? Yes, absolutely. We have a really robust um, shift differential program for um, when I say shift differential, um, that could be if you work the 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. or 11 p.m. to 7 a.m., a really significant um, shift differential for those, as well as weekend package options. So if you are a nurse that wants to work a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, most weekends out of the year, those nurses make uh, um, a significant amount more. And Amy, I think you provide that information when they um, are in the interview process. Um, we also have opportunities now for you to earn extra um, bonuses or incentives for picking up shifts beyond your um, your uh, employment status. So we really want to ensure that you get paid for the extra work that you uh, put forth at the bedside. Awesome. Um, there's a couple of questions that I've seen come through about retrogression. So let me just, let me talk about that for a second. Um, one, I would encourage you, there's a um, Ron Hoppy and uh, uh, one of the immigration attorneys that we work with did a webinar. I believe it was last week, maybe the week before. Um, it's on the Worldwide Health Staff YouTube channel. 
And um, I would say that's that. Those are the experts in uh, retrogression and what it means and what you think it means. Um, the short answer I think today is that with the May Visa Bulletin um, and the priority date being in June of 2022 for final action processing, um, it really isn't going to add any time to anyone whose petition is approved. You know, in the you know in the next little while. Um, if there's a delay, it would maybe be 30 or 60 days based on what we're seeing in terms of processing today with NBC and getting an embassy interview. Um, now, there is a new visa bulletin that comes out every year. And then the fiscal year will restart October 1st for USCIS. Um, so we will at Worldwide do our very best to keep everybody updated. Um, and the priority date is the same for folks in the Philippines and um, all other countries except for mainland China and India. So, um, but for more information, please, um, please go to the worldwide YouTube channel and, and watch the, the retroaggression webinar. Um, it's, it's very informative and um, there's some, some experts that have been working in the international field for, for more than 20 years that, that you would want to hear from. Amy, I see a couple questions in the chat about orientation and how do we support new nurses to ensure that they don't make uh, medication errors. Um, every one of our med, any any of our nursing units have their own educator. So that educator will be a full time educator walking alongside of you. We will ensure that you have um, enough orientation um, that you are comfortable and and feel like you can provide the safest, highest quality care. Um, we also have um, other really seasoned nurses to work alongside of you. Here at Davenport on our med surge units, um, we do team nursing um, that we call hub nursing, which stands for helping us belong. So every day when you are on a med surge unit, you are partnered with another nurse. So if uh, Amy and I were the two nurses that were uh, hubbed together, um, Amy would be there each day or night to support me and I would be there to support her. So. Remember, we have a network built in so that you um, don't feel like you're alone and have a resource. That's awesome. And I think there is another question about um, filing for, for new grad petitions. And um, so for new grads, um, once they start working, and really it's about, it's about making sure we have all of the pieces in place needed for filing a petition. Um, NCLEX has to be finished, visa screen has to be done, those sorts of things have to be in place. Mm -hmm. And then once that is completed, we are able to file your petition. Um, there may be some additional, um, I mean, more information to come based on the priority dates because there are some different rules around those um, for in terms of an adjustment of status. But um, those are all things that are really great questions for your case manager. And I've seen some other specific questions about like, is this experience okay or this experience okay? And the best way to get that information is to connect directly with your recruiter. And if you don't have one, please make sure you apply. We, we want to make sure you get connected to a recruiter and they can look at your past experience and then best be able to, to help um, you understand if Genesis is a good fit. Um, and again, we have interviews tomorrow. So if you're interested, reach out to your recruiter today um, because we'd love to we'd love to help you interview as early as tomorrow for, for Genesis help. Um, when, so a couple of questions about the English test. Um, and again, those are really good questions for your recruiter, exactly what the scores have to be and, and what's required. Um, it is individual by state, and your recruiter will be able to help you with what's required in Iowa. Um, I see a question about shifts and like how are shifts assigned and, and that sort of thing. Yeah, we will work with you um, for orientation. And then as you get settled into your unit, we will then, I saw Sue had asked a question, um, is it best to start in the weekend package? We can hire you into a weekend package, but we probably would orient you, orient you during the week um, where there is, there's more leadership here, there's more uh, support. And then after you are off orientation, we would move you to um, the weekend package. But we will work with you because I know that um, many of you bring your kids over. We want to make sure that you have a successful schedule for orientation and then uh, we'll work you towards the hours that you desire. That's great. 
Um, I think, Joel, we may have answered all of the right. questions. There's a couple of other folks here that are already in the process for Genesis yeah, and great. some folks whose petitions have just been approved. Um, so I think I think maybe um, I think since we've answered almost all the questions, what would you what what final thoughts would you like to leave with this group today? Yeah, you know, uh, above all, I think you belong here. We are a really robust uh, team of nurses that work together striving as i've said a couple times for the highest quality safest care i will ensure that you feel as uh, connected with our workforce um, as just like if you were born here like me i want to make sure that you were uh, feeling that um, home-like uh, neighborhood friendly um, connected environment we're also going to ensure that you as a nurse grow um, your knowledge as you want, and we'll support you along the way. We have leadership opportunities as well after you get integrated into the workforce. Um, so we will help you reach all of your professional goals. So um, I look forward to connecting with you. I'm uh, very visible and present to our workforce. So uh, as Amy said, please, uh, you know, get signed up for an interview even as early as tomorrow. We would love to connect and see how we can um, connect you with Genesis. Awesome. Congratulations again to um, all the people here who are, are already in process. Um, thank you to everybody who's joined us today. Thanks, Joel, for your time. We appreciate right. it. And we hope everybody has a really good morning or evening, depending on where you are in the world. Right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.